Well, today is Monday. Uh, nope, scratch that. It's Tuesday. I think it's about the 22nd. No trouble with the smoker light in here. We have three training hives still left here. And as far as I can remember last time, the, the number one hive that we got into uh, was queenless and going downhill. Zero brood, no queen, no queen activity. Number three here, I believe it's the one that had a queen. Let's see what it says. Queen working, one frame. It did, it had honey up top, bees, bees in the bottom, and there was a queen in there working one frame. And then on this side here, number two, was queenless and honey. Uh, so, my plan is to take both of these outside hives, pull any honey or any bees out of them that I can, and get them to go in this middle one. And just make this one hive, just make this all one hive. I'm not going to stack it six boxes tall. There are some frames in there that aren't being used at all. Those frames will go home with me. And any frame that has honey on it or anything like that will stay here. And uh, if I have too many frames, it's going to be too high full of honey. I will take those home tonight and then tomorrow bring them back in here and set them out in the open and let this hive try to recover it. I think is my plan. But we got to do something or these two ones on the outside are going to dwindle totally to nothing and end up getting full of wax moths. Now, um, I am going to take a good look in these outside ones to make sure, and it's been a week, it's been over a week, to make sure the queen was just out mating and it came back and started laying. Before I do all this, because I don't want to destroy a brand new virgin yard, bear, brand new mated queen, if we have one. But I think these hives are doomed. Well, that's a good sign. There's a lot of bees in there. Look at the ants under this lid. Now, what they're doing, they're up underneath here. They're up under this metal, and since this metal is stapled on here, I can't just take it off and deal with the ants. And they're hauling around eggs, but I think they're all up underneath that metal lid, and they're probably getting through a crack right in the corners and going up underneath there. This is why I do not like to staple down my metal lid. So I'm take this vent off. Now these things are real bad about propolizing. A lot of people like to collect propolis to take. So don't waste this stuff. Well, I see a lot of bee activity. Let's just see what we see in this top box. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon. I just got off work. Need to get this thing worked. Let's decide what we're gonna do with it. Now yeah, see we got that frame full of nectar, some honey, both sides. And that was a brood frame right here and it's full of nectar too. That is a plastic foundation frame by the way. That's another brood frame that feels pretty heavy and pretty full. It's another brood frame. I'm going to quit saying that so I don't say it a thousand times. As you can tell, they're just packing it all full of honey. Now, there's enough bees in here. This hive will last a while without a queen. Oh, guess what we have? eggs and larvae I see larvae in here it's at least three days old and I see eggs 
I don't think it's a land worker. Oh, I see larvae all in here. This is exactly why I waited a week. Over and over and over, I tell people. They call me and say, Danny, I'm queenless. I don't know what to do. And they get all in this panic mode. And I tell them, give it a week. Do a hive inspection and call me back. And half of them or more than half call me back and say, Danny, you're not going to believe this. I have eggs in my hive. And look at their cat brood. More cat brood. Cat brood on the next frame. So, this hive's doing really well. I am not going to do anything to it. Very happy to see that. This is hive number two. Let me give them a little bit of smoke. They're not being aggressive. I just want to get them back down in there so I can close this thing up. Very happy with what I see on this hive. I don't usually pump this much smoke. It's just my smoker's not lit very well. Try not to crunch any. So, very happy. This hive is very heavy and doing well. So, we'll go ahead and slip the cover back on it and walk off and let it be. What do I have on the side of this one? No queen, lots of bees. Several frames of honey. So I am happy. This hive has recovered and is doing well. And we'll leave the block off of it for a minute. Just in case I need to get back in it. And this hive over here says uh, six to seven frames of nectar. Three to four frames of drawn out Drawn out, not our, some, I don't even know what my own writing says. No queen, good number of bees. Hopefully we'll be lucky again here. I hurt my back and I'm trying not to bend over too much. Because I've been standing on my feet all day. I'll take a quick look in here. Not as num not as many bees in this one. We'll take a quick look, see, see what we see. It sure would be nice to have a frame of eggs in here too. Now, since we have some nice frame of eggs, it's kind of late in the year to be trying to raise a queen. Real late, I think. But it wouldn't hurt. Just put a frame of brood over here see if we could get them to raise a queen one reason because Mike has hives just right over there and he says there's drones in them I see what makes me curious is this frame is polished and ready for eggs And I don't see any, but I wouldn't be surprised we didn't. Here, a couple of minutes, let's keep digging. honey there's a medium honey frame another medium honey frame and honey so there is no evidence of a queen in this top box pop it off of here and see if we see any queen activity in the bottom box sure would be nice because the way my back feels i don't feel like doing much box shuffling but 
wil je wel zien. Oep. Oep, dat gaat toch. Numbers are kind of in the medium range. I wish there was more bees in here. Nothing going on on that frame. These seem to be more on the right side here, so I want to focus more on the right, even though I started on the left. No eggs, and I'm going to scan for a queen. Boy, that's a lot of polishing going on. I sure think there's a queen in this hive that's going to start laying any second. But I do not see. Oh, hang on a minute. That's what I don't want to see. Okay. I think I see a few spotty eggs in there and the reason is it looks like we have a laying worker because these are all drones and I see some drone bees there kind of looks like a queen cell a small one and it looks like they're kind of nursing another one there and there is a larvae in there that's uh, full of royal jelly but here's what I'm going to guess is going on there. This is a land worker and they put an egg in there and it's... And I see more eggs but I still think... And a queen cell there that's no good. I still think it's just a land worker. And I think that queen cell there is no good either. And it's closed. Here's what I'd like to do to give this thing a chance. I don't think it'll work, but these are training high, so let's give it a try. Let's put a frame of eggs in here. Now that's why I didn't put the weight back on top of that one over there, because I thought I might have to get back into it. Boy, I dropped this center block and busted it the other day, and the guy was nice enough to put every piece back on top of here. I don't think that was needed, but that is fine. It worked. He's the only one that showed up for training. And he did a real good job. Seeing some hive beetles on there. Well, this is hive number three. Not a lot of population up here compared to hive number two over there. A lot of pollen and nectar, honey. Oh. Uh, actually, is that brood? Yeah, some old cat brood that's probably no good. Not seeing any brood activity at all, but this is the one that had a queen. I did see it. Well, I think I did see her. A nice brood comb out here where I can see eggs. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, there's some larvae, and there's a queen right there. 
but she is not doing a very good job. I wonder what her problem is. There's more larvae on that side. Well, last time, last time she was only working one frame. I hope y'all can hear me. I got a podcast going in my other ear. There's a larvae here too, but boy, she's not just really getting after it. And larvae there too, and cat brood. Hmm, not good. But there is a queen. But if I had a queen to replace her, I would. Matter of fact, she's up top. Last time she was in the bottom. Well, I'm not going to mess with her. Since there is a queen in there, I don't like her production. But she is doing production. So we will put this high back together. And I will see if we can get a frame of brood and eggs out of this hive number two over here. And put down there in hive number one. And see if they'll raise a queen or see what they'll do. And I think I remember seeing brood up top here. What did I do? Get some sticks in here. Now, these are a little grouchy since I'm, I have learned. See how I'm leaving this hive open? One reason because I'm coming back to work in it. But I have learned if you put the lid back on and then take the lid right back off just five five minutes later, they're a little grouchy. So if I think I am going to do some work on a hive and come back to it, I have a tendency just to leave the lid off. I've even drove off and left the lid off for 45 minutes and didn't bother me that bad. Now here's a plant frame with lots of larvae and some eggs. Lots of larvae and eggs. Plenty of eggs. So let's make sure our queen is not on here. This is hive number uh, two. And we're going to take this frame of eggs and put it in hive number one. I'm going to get my brush. And brush these bees off just to make sure I don't have that queen. And that aggravated. Brushes always seem to aggravate them. They're stinging that brush. But I'm 100% sure now that there is no queen there is eggs on both sides and some nectar we'll grab my pry bar we'll head over here put it in here and I'm gonna call this frame number one two three four five six frame number six in the bottom one two three four five six and I'm gonna put a X on it I'm gonna take this frame that's that's eh, drawn out enough for her to lay eggs on it if she wants to Barely. Okay. A little 
grouchy in my face and I need to put the screen back on. So we need bees back down inside the box. We are going back down. Oops. And I just smashed something with my finger picking this thing up. a little bit of smoke. We'll get them back down in there. Now what I've heard from some people, if you have a laying worker, what they do, usually your hive is so low on numbers you start decreasing the size when some people find it. So they end up putting them in a nuke or something or taking it all the way down just to one box. What they do, they shake all the bees off. Take all the bees off outside. Hopefully the laying worker does not get back to the hive is the idea. But another thing I've heard people do is say, take out that frame that that, that uh, laying worker is laying on and discard it somewhere. Freeze it. And then put a frame of good brood and eggs in there. Two or three more days later, put a good frames of brood and eggs in there. Two or three days later, give them another frame of brood and eggs and just keep flooding that hive with good odor, brood odor, and eventually it'll switch it over. Now, if you have another good active hive and you can do that, it's easy to do, but if you only have your one hive, you're going to have to get you a queen and you're going to have to get rid of that laying worker. So we're done. I gotta go back and put the weights on and I get get my pencil out and I'm gonna uh oh I didn't put that top screen on right. And I'm gonna put my notes on the side. But that's it, let me put out my smoker. Tell you what, I've been trying to use a cork to put out my smoker. And I lost my cork. So I tried to use big leaves. Well, here we are now. I'm out here and there's not any big leaves. Good old paper towel's been working real well. Get you a good old metal bucket. It's been ran over by a four-wheeler. Use that so you won't catch your van on fire. Go back out here. And you can see, now if I would have went off and left this, it would have been a catastrophe. But you can see that top vent slid back. And the bees are coming in now there. It happens. I noticed the lid was sitting a little bit back and I pushed on the lid and it didn't slide forward. So now I slid it forward. Everything's good. I'm gonna put this cinder block back up there for some weight. That's good. Get my pencil out or I'll forget my pencil. Been doing some fogging on some beehives. And I'm getting ready to go do some more. Because I did my fogging this weekend on all my beehives. I think I got 20 now. And I missed one. At a guy's house. So let's see here. We'll just say 22 August, because I think that's what it is. Found eggs and brood looks good twenty two August I did not look in this box removed one frame of eggs for hive 
number one. Twenty two August. Uh, Queen is in this box only working one frame. Now I like these pencils, these are carpenter pencils, always sharp. So you pull that lead out. It's getting a little bit dull. Stick it in here. I don't mean brand new lead. No sharpening. Oh, sorry. 22 August. Let's see here. I think we took this box off. We put the queen in the bottom. 22 August. Put in a frame of eggs. Twenty-two August. Put in a frame of eggs, frame number six with X on top. No queen. So I didn't have to do what I thought I was going to have to do. That one right there, we're hoping is going to raise a queen or two. That one right there has a queen in; it's not doing very good. And that one right there has a pretty good queen in it. good I'll tell you what I'm also gonna do see this number on the front this is a box that I sold the club or a hive that I sold the club and I staple these numbers on the front boy that one's doing pretty good I'm gonna show you a bad thing about these well first of all they put staple holes in your hive and that's just a place for rot to start I'm not going to do that anymore. If I want to number it, I'll number it with a pencil. And really, I have found just writing notes on my lid and writing notes on the side is the way to go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that thing staple out of there. Let's see. Okay. Hive beetles, wax moth larvae. When I was taking these off of my hive, behind them, I found wax moths, I found beetles, all living on the outside of the hive. Not a good thing, this is that political sign board. Now Mike uses it on the top of his for rain covers. Might, might be okay, I don't, he has not said he had any problem with it. But for the hives that I did have wax moths on, I found wax moth larvae out here. So they might have even started from the outside. So I'm taking that stuff off all of mine. So I'm done. Taking the suit off. Okay, I'll stop this thing. Put some propolis on it. <laughs> 